Good morning. Welcome aboard. Thank you, Mrs. H. Gap in the middle of the brush shelf there. That's because it's soaking in here. And I've just noticed, because I usually fill it with another brush, but I haven't, so I apologise for that. For any eagle-eyed people out there. Yeah, welcome to Wednesday. Hope you... Uh, hope your week is going well and you're in good health health yourselves. Um, another mix and match product. I love doing this. Um, you know, products that shouldn't really go together scent-wise, but um, why not, I say. So what are we going to use? Well, you're going to use the latest, the newest Wilkinson Sword Classic. Uh, these are about £15 now on Amazon. Maybe you can get a deal better than that. These are logo, if you can see, Wilkinson Sword. Twist to open, non-adjustable. Heavyweight, long handle, spiral knurling. Um, nice, I'm glad they made one. Then, looking through my stock, I'm gonna use a pole silver, super iridium. I've not used one of these for a while. And, uh, Right, there's going to be two outtakes in the shave. This is one. Have you ever done that? I'll be back in a minute. And we're back. Brand new. I just picked it up, you see. Funny, I didn't throw it though, and uh, anyway. These things happen. So, this is the blade. So, that's the outtake number one. And when I was preparing this shave, ready to start filming uh, Millie jumped up on here and round the soap and brush and couldn't care less <laughs> if she wants to do it she does it right overhang to be aware of you can see it there on both sides it sits nicely door shut and soap soap Sean Connery's here yes Traditional skincare, Erasmic. Uh, this is how they sell it now. Um, I got this in one of the savers, um, you know, that type of chemist sort of shop. Savers, or um, I think, what's the other place? Body Care. They used to, they sell it. Um, this is how it used to look. And I've sm smelt this, um, the old one. There's still some left in that. And it's got the same scent as the new one. So sometimes, personal thoughts here, sometimes I think um, the new, when you see a new one, you think, oh, that's good. And then you think, maybe not, because if they've changed the formula, um, it's not so good then. Ha well, a lot of them are not, not as good as the previous sometimes, but sometimes they are. But I think this is the same uh, soap just in a modern sort of, they've just repackaged it, I think, but uh, if I remember rightly. So that's that, the brush of choice. I'm gonna go with a, show you now, just soaking. This, it's a, this is a ball and badger, mix knot, 26 millimeter, ice blue handle from DS Cosmetic, I think. It is logo, oh, it is logo, if you can see it, there you go. DS Cosmetic, uh, used it before, nice brush, quite a tight, not in there, um, and I've soaked or bloomed the uh, soap so we can um, use it as a pre shave. So I'm going to just take them off, wet the face, put the pre shave on, and we'll get cracking. That's that. Just quite warm. Uh, yesterday was uh, very sunny. For February, frosty start, cold, and then it went beautiful, clear, sunny day, and um, not complaining at all. So we'll just tip a bit, but I don't need it all. And just use this as a. Oh yeah, I remember the scent now. See, that's a good sign. Good way of doing a pre shave if you don't want to spend too much money on shaving but still enjoy it. So 
it's always nice after a shower. So I'll do that. Rinse the hands, make sure that's empty. Because we're going to lather from this puck. Yeah, that's fine. So it'll be a nice soft um, coat on the top of this soap now, where it's soaked. We can uh, clean the brush. Wipe the hands. We've loaded the, the uh, razor, so we're ready to set this lathers up. It's only small, but uh, should be all right. And we can always, I'm going to lather on this brush and then lather on the face, add in water as I need it. And uh, we can always go back to the puck. And the way I work with these soaps, afterwards I rinse, I take it out, it is loose, uh, thoroughly rinse it, place it on its edge, overnight, tw 12, at least 12 hours, usually 24 hours a day, clean the tub, dry it, and uh, I've had no problems, as you can see, I've had this for many years, and it's still in good, nick. you know, could use it. I was going to use that, but I don't know, I'll use the new one. And uh, right, so just a touch of water, mm, a bit more. Mm. Mm. You'd expect this brush to be more scratchy with it having a bore and then. Uh, Bad humor. It has a sort of, um, if you compare it to a synthetic, it has a rougher texture on the face to it, as it, you know, the touch. But um, nothing bad, nothing at all. It's uh, really nice. Okay, so. Empty the vessel that we soak the brush in because I forget sometimes. Heat the razor up. So it's the Wilkinson Salt Classic, the newest version. And then the Super, the Pole Silver Super Iridium Blade, brand new. Not an empty box. Here we go, first pass. I'll take that up there. Ready? That is nice. You can feel the slickness already. A nice soap. Not expensive. The scent is um it's a nice scent, but it's nothing to jump up and down. It's um But it is a nice scent. I do like it. Yeah. Sense strength of the scent is about a two and a half. Maybe a three. Two and a half to three. Yep. It's a nice first pass, lots of whiskers there. Clean them. 
yeah, nice liquor. It's a nice soap. It's sort of a, what would you say the scent? It's like a, well, it's not classic, but there's no smell to this brush either, which is nice. It's, um, yes, what can you say, a standard shaving soap scent. That works very well. As I say, I like this sort of shave. This is what I was brought up, brought up with. Cross the growth, working well. That's a nice balance point for me when I hold it. What an overhang. You having a midweek shave? If you are, let me know. And thank you for the comments on the last video. Let me know stuff and really enjoy reading them. That's lovely. How's the, how's the week going so far? All right. I've had um, a new vehicle in work and uh, it's uh, fully electric. And when I was nervous going in, because I I deliver to a deep rural area, so there's lots of farm tracks and hills and rough lanes and and you know it's all right these things in the city, but uh, I was I haven't been back to the park some third application, of it. and I was um, hoping that the range in it. Would be okay, you see. So I've used it. This is third day today, and it's fantastic. Yeah, no problem. Um, beautiful vehicle to drive. It's silent in a way. Uh, the steering is just so light. Uh, you can turn it on a sixpence. We say you can turn it. Um, it's silent, it whirs along, and it's calming to drive somehow. It's beautiful. Digital radio. Um, you can plug your phone in it, charge it, play your music on it. It's fantastic. So here we go, against the growth. And um, we had frost, as I was saying, in the morning. And what I did was... Put the heater on while it was still charging and it defrosted the whole thing God, far quicker than an engine because it's got to warm up hasn't it the engine but so yeah i'm very pleased thank you Made me laugh a few of the farmers when I drive into the farmyard. Whereas they would have heard me coming in. Diesel engine. You turn up and I'm like. <laughs> I 
The first thing they ask, Ooh, how much did it cost? <laughs> I don't know. A lot of money, have I? I thought it would cost a lot of money to charge them, you know, but, uh, well, it costs more now because the energy prices, I suppose, but, um, they have got solar panels on the roof of the, the uh, building I work in. That's for the lights in the building, I think, but... You know, they must save a lot of money doing it. But uh, I was speaking to a um, chap who, he's had two electric cars and he said it cost him, he worked it out somehow, it cost him, this is before the crisis, um, he was doing about 300 miles and it was costing him between three and four pounds in money. So, if that's the case, you can't argue with that, can you? Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. So, we haven't had to go back to the puck again. And there's just about enough uh, soap there. And bear in mind, this is a badger and ball brush. Which can, especially the ball brush, create the lava, yeah. But, ooh, sucks it up and you've got to fight for it. <laughs> But not the case today, it's working well. It's a nice razor. With this blade, um, it's just, I say this a lot, but it is. It's, you know, it's a standard, mid, medium, whatever you want to call it, aggression. Very comfortable. Very nice blade. Listen to this. Getting the stragglers. And that is it. Oh, lovely. Cold water. I was asked oh, know, a couple of weeks ago, how did you discover this way of shaving? Well, the long, <laughs> the long way and the most expensive way around. That's how I found it. Because I tried everything when I was younger. Didn't want to do this. Oh, I'm not doing that. I want the latest, greatest cartridge, Gillette, whatever it was. And uh, nothing worked. It was expensive. And... Uh, a light bulb moment when I thought back to my dad, my grandfather, um, but my father one day has just had a shave and his skin, he had a really pink skin, no whiskers, no blood, this time no cigarette paper. <laughs> and uh, I thought that's the way then, it's got to be the way, because he never went buying razors, he used the same one, the the um, Slim Twist. and. Uh, he used it for years, 
well, you know, yet, as I say, clean, fresh skin, and never look back. Sorry about that, I keep waffling on. I'm going to use some of this. This is the mentholated witch hazel. As I use it up. I can uh, use a fresh, uh, make a fresh batch then. I'm going to look in there for because the witch hazel's not there anymore. It's in the other room. Oh, that's lovely. Not too strong, just a hint of coolness. And then, I'm going to use an aftershave. This was a gift to me a few years back. This is Clarins Men uh, Lotion uh, Aftershave. That's uh, quite expensive stuff, this. And it has a, it's a, what I class as a light, like an aqua scent. Very light aqua scent. But very nice. You don't need a lot. Yeah, very nice. Almost a hint of citrus in it. But like an aqua citrusy, lovely, fresh. And sorry, I won't keep any. It is this L'Oreal Men, Men Expert Moisturising Gel, which is uh, skin and stubble. Good stuff, this. Because when I first seen it, the the word gel to me is quite clear. It's a Yeah, really nice. Put it everywhere. And that's what we look like. Very pleased with that. So, before you go, we've used the... I'm just going to let you fill it. The Wilkinson Sword Classic. This is their latest, newest model. Heavyweight, spiral knurling, nicely balanced, works well. Um, what can you say? It's a standard head on it, but it uh, works nicely. It doesn't come undone, even though I do check it, but it doesn't turn, so it's staying tight. That's good. We've used this Erasmic shaving soap a standard scent um inexpensive but really good it lathers up quickly if you bloom it you can use it as a pre-shave that helps the, the quickness of the lather then um i sort of lathered it with a damp brush and then added water as you've seen in the first pass and then that kept it then and there was enough in the brush for the whole shave we've used the um pole silver super iridium Brand new, very nice blade, comfortable, smooth, um, and yet very efficient. Welsh water to rinse. We we'll just use a bit of this um, witch hazel, which I've uh, mentholated, and then this Clarins Men um, lotion, aftershave lotion. Nice stuff. And of course, the uh, L'Oreal Men Expert Skin and Stubble Gel. And that's it, leave you in peace. Um, have great shaves if you haven't any. Look after yourselves, stay safe, stay happy if you can, and um, I'm healthy. And I'll see you on Sunday for the Sunday shave. And you know, I'm going to cook today, just before you go. I'm going to do some chorizo sausage, peppers, onions, um, celery, and mix in some rice and let it simmer. Um, add some stock to it, garlic, tomatoes, and, uh, lovely. Why I've told you that, I've no idea, but there we go, it's not a Sunday, is it? But I'm doing that today. Um, and that's it. I'll leave you now, instead of the the, the extra where you see with the flowers, I'm going to put a little outtake, what happened just before the shave. I hope you have a bit of fun watching it. So all the best, have a great week, bye-bye. Come here. Never work with animals or children. She wants to be in everything, don't you? But you don't want to be shaved, do you? No. Because she knows I'm talking about her. And she knows she shouldn't be. Yeah. Say bye to everybody. No. Looking for shadows and anything she can pounce on. See you in the next one. Come on.